Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with a antique mall pickup video. Um, there wasn't a whole lot there that I picked up, kind of found it all towards the end actually, but thought I'd just do a short video and show you what I got. So, um, it's been it's been a while since we went there because obviously they were closed down because of the virus, so it's been at least over two months since I was last there, but I did find a couple things, so thought I'd share. Um, first one is a non sports related item I uh, thought it was kind of cool picked it up um, found the fellowship of the ring the extended edition uh, for the Lord of the Rings DVD and uh, we, me and my sister have been looking to try and get the whole trilogy with the extended edition but they're quite expensive so um, found that one for seven bucks I, they're usually I think when I was looking online they're usually about 20 bucks a piece so I guess I saved a little bit of money there, so um, we'll look forward to being able to watch the extended version of that one. Then uh, found this little pack of Ken Griffey Jr. cards for two bucks. Um, figured, what the heck? Hopefully, there's some cards I don't have already, and we can add them to the binder. If I can open them, I can hopefully share some of them with you. There's plenty of other cards there and interesting stuff, but it was just it was overpriced. So I mean, definitely I would have loved to have it, but could find it cheaper elsewhere if I really wanted to buy it, I guess. So unfortunately, there weren't as many people that usually have cards either. It's not like the when I used to be able to go there and buy a whole 5,000 count box of. 30 bucks is this guy was just trying to get rid of them and there's really cool stuff in there so it's not like those days anymore but there's still some stuff so um, of course we got the pinnacle card that we already saw they're not in great shape maybe that's why they're two bucks triple play score something from Don Russ it's the score all-star card Checklist card. Sorry about the interruption there. I just had to stop the video for a second. Uh, we left off with this one here. Um, I've seen this card before, but I haven't had it in a long time. I don't remember who that is, who the lady is. If anybody knows, let me know. I'd love to know that. Oh, here's a bat speed. Kind of like a subset card, technically. It's an all-star card. Checklist card. So, um, I see a few cards that I can add to the binder. Some I might already have. But, we'll take a look. So, still kind of cool, though. So, add some Ken Griffey Jr. cards. So, put that in the Hall of Fame pile there. Then, uh, bought this. Uh, 12 bucks, probably maybe overpaid, I don't know. 1993 Upper Deck football. Um, it's got the Joe Montana on the back there. Um, I was thinking maybe that can be a future Junk Wax Challenge thing. Could be a giveaway, could be something for a future video where we just crack it open just for the heck of it. Um, who knows? So I <laughs> figured why not? Uh, I don't know if 12 bucks is a good deal. Let me get, know what you guys think. There's not really anybody good. I think maybe Drew Bledsoe is probably the best one in 93. Maybe Jerome Bettis. Was he 93 or 94? I forget. Um, so, it would be kind of good for TKMs, I guess. So, uh, I just figured 12 bucks that's not too bad. So, and they had other ones there, but they were just, uh, there was a random hockey from like 92 Pinnacle. Uh, 89 tops, they were all 12 bucks. I thought the 93 upper deck was a better one of those. There was another one too, I forget which one it was. And then finally, I picked up this one. This was in the last aisle. Towards the back to one of the last stand. It was five bucks. It's supposed to be a box of all Rockies players, so I thought I'm a Rockies fan, it'd probably be cool. Um, don't know if they're newer or older or what, but. 
figured we will just kind of take a look at a few of them. Well, looks like they're mixed. Juan Pierre tops chrome. Pretty nice. Um, tops Heritage. Then Petrick. There's Larry Walker. So, Mike Hampton, free agent bust. <laughs> That's why they won't spend a whole bunch of money on free agents usually because they're all afraid they're going to be like another Mike Hampton story or something, I guess. At least for the pitchers. Uh, I got a press proof die cut of Ellis Burks, which I've never seen before. Uh, dugout collection from 96 of Vinny Castilla. Got Jamie Wright, who wasn't very good with the Rockies, but actually became a kind of a solid reliever towards the end of his career with some teams, like the Tampa Bay Rays and stuff. Just cool Eric Young, leading Luchers, is that what that says? For stolen bases. The gold medallion edition of Larry Walker. So there's some, I think for five bucks I did alright. There's some cool stuff in there. There's one more Larry Walker for the road. So yeah. I think it was worth it for five bucks. So there's a decent amount of cards in there too. So, so all in all I paid after tax and all the whole kit and caboodle is like twenty seven dollars and twenty cents. So um, let me know what you guys think I if I did alright, so um and hopefully I can check out some other antique malls that are kind of nearby that area in the future. Because I think they're open now. So, And we can do more of these videos. Because I had planned on doing more of that until, you know, this virus hits. So I'm going to do that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you tomorrow um, with some more TTMs if possible. Or some other uh, videos. Like some binder videos or something. Who knows. We'll see. See what I got time for. So thanks guys for watching. Bye.